Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Um, <laughs> I make sure that it is the truth. That's the number one thing that I really, really value. Like, before I put anything out, I make sure that I educate myself. Totoo ba yung gusto kong sabihin? I read up about it. Um, is it honest? And also, another thing is if... Um, it's true. Like, it's really what I feel, the right? It's like, example, like, little things lang. Like, about political matters. Okay, that's really something I'm super uh -huh. careful about. But yeah. even little things like recommending food, like when I do mukbangs, pag sinabi kong masarap, of course, I have to make sure it's the truth and I'm honest. Kasi if people get influenced and they buy that product, tapos, tapos <laughs> they taste it and then hindi masarap, then syempre they'll be like, Oh my gosh, grabe si Ate Maki. Parang um, sinasabi niya masarap pero hindi naman masarap. So the the parang they lose the they lose they do so about you Sam. I'm also seeing with Maki cuz for example with pop culture it was also it's very anchored on honesty also. Because in the start I had no credibility at all cuz I was a new DJ, no one really knew who I was and when I review food I'm really really honest and no one would believe me when I would say it was, it was good, if it didn't taste as good. So no one really believed me, but over time, I was able to build that credibility and from being honest. That's why I put a lot of weight, a lot of weight on being honest as well. Like, that's also the number one thing that matters to me is honest. Mm -hmm. Especially when I put myself out there and, for example, sharing my life with other people. I really have to be honest because, especially now in the internet, everyone can find anything about you. Yeah. Anything you put out, they will really, really like find out anything why it's number one thing to be honest especially now where resources are free also at the same time like everyone can just google anything you guys have to you know really be responsible with whatever you put out there so for example like what Maki said I also educate myself on issues like for example political issues if I don't know and someone asks me about it I will literally tell them I really don't have a lot of knowledge about this topic because that's okay I feel like we know we have to normalize that kind of honesty then like I don't know and I want to learn, but I don't know anything yet. So, yes. so for that. And aside from honesty, it would also be um, being respectful. I think that's also one of the most, uh, but one of the things that a lot of people tend to forget when they're on the internet, not just because they're anonymous or you can't see oh, their face, but like, they can just say whatever they want. So I think when it comes to posting and putting myself out there, I have to be really respectful of myself and also of other people. Yeah. Once you put it out there, it's gonna be there. Even if it's like, the next minute, mm -hmm. right, someone will already see it. So you really have to be respectful of everyone that's involved, including yourself, and you have to respect yourself. So honesty and respect. Yeah, and so for our viewers out there, let's take it from Maki and Sam to so have honesty, um, true content, and respectful content also because this can apply to even just, you know, those people who post lang on Facebook, it can be harmful to people, or on Instagram stories, little things like that can, you know, it's, and yun na yun eh, kasi once it's online, it's there forever, yun, yun na yun, kahit na hindi ka, like you don't have a, everyone has their own platform, maybe big or small, it's still a platform so we all have to be careful. Advice for those aspiring or hesitating to start blogging and building their online platforms or overall just want to express themselves authentically online. So tips for aspiring TV event hosts also. I think for me, my advice would be first of all to just do it. Like like me and Maki, we just did it, you know, like Deva, just take the risk. As we keep saying, just take yes. the risk if you want to do it. Try it if you, you know, you'll see no one if you like it or if you don't like it. So you really have, you will never know if you don't try. So you really yes. have to just take that first step. But also at the same time, you know, it's so cliche that every time that someone asks me for advice on how to be a blogger or a host, it's so cliche when I say this, but it's so true. It's just be yourself. Don't be afraid. Because now, especially in, on the internet, everyone's on the internet. And if you're not being yourself, I feel like more and more people are becoming better at realizing who's not being true to themselves and being yeah. more authentic. So you can really sense now eh, that people are just, for example, being, uh, joining a bandwagon, they're not being themselves. So I think the best weapon that you would have in this kind of industry is to really be yourself and to be true to yourself. As cliche as it is, I swear, it works. That's my secret at least. So you should definitely.
Hello guys, yung weapon, the best weapon yeah. you have yourself. Totoo, totoo yan. Palang panglaban yan sa lahat. Yeah. Ha? Yeah. How about you, Maki? Like, what would be your advice for those aspiring bloggers or hosts? Sam is right. Totoo yung sinabi niya na just go for it. Kasi, like, as I was saying then a while ago, this was never something that I thought I would be doing professionally talaga, di ba? But I just went for it. And also, another advice would be to practice. Di ba? Yeah. Because this, we are in an industry na very creative, very out there, and you don't stop learning talaga. Like, even if, like me, I could say na I've been hosting for 10 years, including all those little ones where I started, it's 10 years, but I can't say that I'm the best already. Yeah. Because I'm not. You're, you'll never be the best. There's always gonna be someone better than you. So you have to keep um, practicing, keep re- evolving, ba? You have to keep getting better at it. And I always say this also to other people that ask me, like, how? Because, like, it also, you have to learn how to be adaptable rin to the different markets that you're going to host at. You, the, who, uh, different markets you're gonna cater to. Like, for example, as mentioned earlier, yung vlogs ko, like on YouTube, that's different. When you're hosting a wedding, the market is different. The way you present yourself is different. When you're hosting a children's party, iba rin yan. When you're hosting a live stream on Shopee, that's different. When you're hosting for a brand, a high-end brand like, let's say, Makeup Forever, it's different rin. So, you have to learn how to practice different kinds of hosting things rin. But at the same time, you stay true to yourself. So, um, it's it's a lot when you think about it na parang, okay, I have to adjust to like um, this market and then adjust to like a more formal one, adjust to a more magulo one. Pero like in all honesty, mahirap talaga siya. That's why you have to keep practicing, listen to other people's advice, learn from other people also, watch other people, see how they do it, and then learn from them. So yon practice talaga and also at the same time be true to yourself. Kasi nga, if not, wala. People will stop believing in you, they'll stop following you, they'll stop supporting you. Kasi bored na lang sila na parang you're pretending to be someone you're not. Diba? Yeah. So just be yourself. That's tama si Sam. That's like the number one key. Um, the key talaga to, be, to put yourself out there and succeeding at it. I love that. Can I I'll quote you on that? Because um, yung parang sa be yourself. Because for me, I see it as then when you put out something online, you're building a relationship then with your audience. So you yes. have to think yes. about who is watching and what type of like market yung parang yung mga routines and products, yung mga setups naman that you guys use for to look your best and freshest in front of the camera. Because important yun ngayon yun. Of course, yung mga antay ngayon hashtag aesthetic. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, um, ano ba yung mga pre-camera ready rituals in your video? So, what are your go-to parang hair, makeup, look and beauty products? My go-to products. For my hair, as you can see, curly hair ako. So, it's important to put product talaga. Because unlike people with straight hair, it's easier, I guess. Because you just comb it, okay na siya. But for people with curly oh my gosh. But with people with curly hair, it's impossible. Like, you have to put products. So, this is what I put. Wow, may dala kong products. Wow. I'm in my room yeah. kasi. It's curly. So, this one is the curl defi- it's a curl defining milk so i put it para my curls are tamed alam mo yon kasi it's not so my god afro nick yeah as in, make sure that the curls are intact ganyan so i didn't curl my hair natural lang to like i just girl like on curl go on the world curls <laughs> No, for my foundation naman, I and mean, you use makeup forever talaga kasi yeah. one is really very ano talaga very for performers if you're on stage if you're gonna be shown on camera kasi talagang it matches your it looks natural lang parang walang makeup yung vibe uh-huh. yeah. and then I also make sure that my skin is nice kasi sometimes when I live stream my viewers know this I don't really put full makeup na like usually I just do eyebrows blush and then lips kasi um kasi chill lang naman eh so i don't have to do full makeup talaga but 
important that I take care of my skin or else pangit, the ba? Like, it's going to school to say. I agree. Then, oh. Oh. And then last thing for my setup, I have a ring light because I live stream at night. So yeah. it's important talaga that I have a ring light or else it's going to be too dark. And then I fix around my background to make sure that it's presentable. Ayun. So yun yung mga go-to mo, no? Uh, yung mga tips ni Ate Maki. <laughs> How about you, Sam? Ano yung mga, like, what are your go-to beauty packs? Of course, you're always live than like Mac is for now. So, <laughs> yeah, but um, I agree with Maki. Like, skincare is super important because if you don't take care of your skin, then you put makeup on top, then it's super gonna be oh. cakey, tapos it's not gonna look yes. as good as you want it to look. So, you really yeah, taking care of your skin. I would recommend any, like, Korean brand. I guess it's about right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, like you want glass skin, whatever. They really, they really, they really, they really got it down, na talaga skin care. As in, alam mo na yun, like they really have it. So I would recommend that. So skin care is super important when it comes to makeup, na mani. Like for my foundation, I use Fenty Beauty because they have like a really big range of colors. Yeah. And I'm Morena, so sometimes it's really hard for me to find the shade that matches my skin. And yeah, so I use that. And I love makeup I said, like I just taught myself makeup in high school through the <laughs> Yeah, so super like it's it's really trial and error for everyone who's watching. It's intimidating like, makeup or anything. You really have to try it. Once again, just take the risk. Well, yeah. But really, yeah. Because it can be intimidating to learn how to put makeup on, but it's really a life skill, and I promise you, you're gonna save so much money because you won't have to hire like a That's makeup true. artist oh, and some hair. Know. Yeah, you really don't have to. So once you learn, you can just you know all the resources are free. Just go to YouTube and just type everything, and you'll learn. Oh, and na, marami oh. na mga dami ng mga tutorials online so go ahead yeah, exactly. before we officially end maybe there are some final words you would want to say to our viewers start your journey online as a blogger live streamer or even just posting on your social media don't be afraid to do it just always make sure that you stay consistent and that you're true to yourself because as what we keep saying over and over, like only when you really show people who you really are, mawi really sila sa personality mo and they really gonna support you. So yo, that's the tip. And also, I just wanna thank all those people that really support what I do. Because honestly, like for me personally, I think it's the ba like it's draining to keep watching someone every day. But yeah. like the ba, and it's not even just like a thirty-minute thing. It's an hour or so. And there are people talaga those supporters that always watch everything, support me in anything. Those here also see they're watching, supporting everywhere. So I'm really so thankful for them because if not for them, I wouldn't be where I am now. So. Sana, I also pray for everyone's success, everyone who's trying to be, um, to reach their goals there. Just go for it. Kaya nyo yan. Keep practicing. Don't stop. Because you, in the in God's perfect time, you'll get to where you want to be. Yeah. Thank you, Maki. Nice. Oh, I love that. How about you, Sam? Your final word. My final word to everyone um, is, yeah, I think my biggest advice is just to start, really. It's, I know it's hard. It can be scary because I, you know, you're very overwhelmed and intimidated by the thought of starting something. But once you start, you'll see that. Once you keep at it, you stay consistent and you just really keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna find, you know, your own rhythm and your own way of doing things. It doesn't necessarily have to be how other people do it or you know how you how you see them. But it's really just you putting yourself out there and really starting and taking the risk to actually put yourself out there. And also, yeah, like what I always keep saying is just always be true to yourself. It's gonna be tiring to say if you don't be yes. yourself consistently in the package show you guys and eventually people will see right through it and you know one little slip up like everyone will see. So with that you really have to remember to always be honest, not just with your audience but with yourself in the man. Now with everything that you put out there you have to be honest and also responsible. Especially now with the internet there's so many people on the internet you have to be responsible and respect of everyone and everything and also of yourself. So, Thank you guys for the advice and Stay tuned for the next episode Only here on Z81 Radio Manila